when you consolidate multiple objectives, you know, you don't even have to go through the, the list here. I'm going to go through each one of those uh, aspects later on. You'll have different objectives, volatility, different time horizons, and you need to bring them all together into one metric. So when I list the problem, the first problem we have is a long-term time horizon. If you want to go to net zero carbon by 2030, you know, and you're in 2020, it's 10 years away. Uh, we also have the problem that maybe uh, your target is below the maximum. What do you do if, um, uh, how do you, how, what do you do if, um, if you have a target that is below 50% women in management, for instance? How do you accommodate that? And then uh, even worse, if you have a target, let's say you want to be, want to use 100% renewable energy, you know, and you make that into a, a performance assessment that is used in compensation, you basically can only be below target. You cannot exceed the 100%. What do we do with that? I mean, is it fair to your employees and to your shareholders to say, uh, you know, we are at 90% now because you just happened to use a little bit non-renewable energy that year. And, and then there is also a question about the upside beyond the target. You know, this is the other problem. Let's say you want to have 20% 20, uh, 20 recycled raw material. Well, if that is 100% of target achievement, if you have 40% recycled raw material, you're at 200% of target achievement. And since you will stay probably there because you have changed your production and your sourcing process, you will have 200% as your, as your ESG achievement, which is just not sensible. Then we have the problem of volatility because you know for each tar for each target that you have, you have to set a minimum, a threshold, a maximum performance. And if you have a lot of volatility, you may end up being maximum or minimum, you know, uh, in in oscillating years. You know, like you know, one year is it's everything, and then it's nothing. And what do we do with volatility? What do we do with line of sight? What do we do with timing? Mm -hmm.